microphone's working. Hey, it is. Good stuff. Happy the microphone's working. We're back with some Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Hello, Nova. Welcome to the stream. I just saw your tweets on Twitter. Thanks for the replies. I would love any and all links. If you want to drop them in the Discord, that would let me look at them later. So this is running off of a PlayStation Vita, and I'm playing this with a DualShock 4, and it looks like someone stretched a PSP to the size of my monitor, which is kind of rad. I would have killed for this kind of scaling, like a year and a half ago. How does it look coming through Twitch? Let me pull up on my iPad, oh, so you can see how it looks. See how Twitch butchers my, my beautiful PlayStation P, or PlayStation Portable graphics. It looks kind of nice. So I think it looks kind of nice. We had some issues with audio buzz this morning. You might still be able to hear a tiny, tiny bit of it when there's nothing else playing. I have some hardware showing up later this week that will hopefully help with that. But until then, we just have some noise suppression going on. How's your day been so far? It's a Vita test? Yep. So this ought to run smoother than a PSP and look slightly sharper than a PSP. And there's not a giant PS3 jet engine fan blaring in my ear. So we're slowly eliminating the issues. It runs smoothly, it looks sharp. There's still an audio buzz, but we're gonna try and fix that. I still need to decide if I feel like there's any noticeable lag playing with a DualShock 4 as opposed to playing on the Vita itself. And we also need to see if the uh, if the Vita can handle streaming for several hours at a time without dying. It's a real Vita or a Vita TV? It is a real Vita. Yep. PlayStation Vita. I would hold it up for you, but the cords are kind of short. But yeah, this is what Monster Hunter Portable 3rd looks like running off of Vita. We have some interesting um, options for visuals that we can go in and change here. We can add scan lines, or we can add something that makes it look like an LCD screen, but I think it adds kind of a weird yellowy tint, so I don't think I like that one. I think that this this bilinear filter, the one with the scan lines, will probably get eaten alive by Twitch's compression, so it's probably not a good idea. I don't mind how it looks. I actually kind of like the look of the scan lines, but we'll probably stick without just for the sake of slightly less visual noise going on. I just want to see this through Twitch for a minute. I'm looking at this on my iPad to see what it looks like on you guys' end. Give me just a moment. It looks like when we're standing still, things are pretty clear. Let's go walk around the, the hub. My cat is clawing my knee right now. It hurts. Ow, cat, why are you doing this to me? Stop. It's not nice. Go claw something else. Let me look at what this looks like on the iPad when we're in motion. Eh, it doesn't look awful. I'm surprised. I do think I'm going to turn those off, though. Oh, while we're testing things today, we're going to be working on crafting the uh, the Peko... The Kurapeko TP gun lance. We need to fight a Crimson Kurapeko now. Crimson Kurpeko gun lines. There he is. Let's see, this quest takes place in the flooded forest. Looks alright. Thanks, Cynic. It ought to run a little smoother than a PSP and be marginally sharper on you guys' end than a PSP. For me it is extremely much sharper on my end that I'm like looking at on the on the preview on the display. I'm also able to play with the DualShock 4. I haven't decided if I want to do that yet because it feels maybe slightly laggy. I can't tell if it's the preview screen that I'm looking at that's lagging or the DualShock 4's connection to the PS uh, Vita or not. But we'll see. Um, for a curve pack, I will probably want to bring gun pods. Which we have. Um, I probably want to eat some food too. Yeah, I feel like there's some ever so slight lag between me and the actual finished product here. 
Thanks, Game God Hunter. I hope you're doing well today. We want bomber deer if we can get it. Any bomber deer? No bomber deer. Bomber. I think bomber deer is part of skill group three. Yep. But we only have a high chance of it. Let's just go for attack up. Yeah, if there's like a slight hum sometimes, I'm working on fixing that. But for now, I've got it suppressed as well as I can. When we're actually playing, it shouldn't be much action noticeable. Yeah, hopefully this looks good on you guys and when we're playing. We may still end up playing on the PS3 some of the time, but when we're not, this is really nice. Pecco usually starts down here, this way. is very loud. You can barely hear me over it. That's not good. Let's change that. How's that? Is that a little better? It's still quite loud. Jeez. Well then, let's turn that down even further. Thank you for the heads up. Okay, that ought to be a little better. I was playing around with the settings before I went live and it was kind of hard to tell what was going on. Thank you for the... <laughs> Correction. I'm playing around with the car CBs and they're broken. <laughs> Especially for element. Yeah, those are all elemental sword and ooh, not sword and shields. Elemental charge blades. I didn't realize double jump was gonna be here. I think last time it was not a double jet this guy summoned. Is it specifically the charge points that are broken, or is it most carry weapons that are pretty strong? It still looks like that's pretty loud on you guys' end. I'm gonna turn that down some more. Thanks for the heads up on that, Plaz. I wouldn't have noticed until it was too late. Just the CBs and the dual blades. And that's because of elemental files and just dual blades being good for element. I need to heal. <laughs> this is going well. Hello, Uchi. How you doing this morning or this afternoon? This looks better. Looks better than what, Uchi? I'm curious. Than the PSP? Yeah, it ought to look, like I think on you guys' end, it ought to look marginally sharper than the PSP. Um, on my end, it is quite a bit improved. Like it's quite a bit larger on the screen that I'm looking at, and I'm also able to play with the DualShock 4. I'm not sure if I like that. Ten percent DPS over Safi, that makes a big deal in some hunts, I suppose. Yeah, I can't tell if it feels laggy or not with this. 
um, combination of me looking at this OBS preview and me looking at uh, playing with DualShock. Nirvani Tadina Mida. Nirvani Tadina Mina. Mida. Thank you for the follow. I don't want to fight a double jump. He probably went to area two. I went directly the wrong way. I don't think this would be a very long stream today. Tonight there might be a co-op stream, or there might be no stream. I haven't decided what's going on this evening. It's kind of a weird day. But for now, we're going to try and make this cool Crimson Kuropeko gun lance to go along with our neat Legambi gun lance. this charge. We can block it pretty easily. Is shelling less of a thing in the older titles? Um, not so much. Uh, I guess it depends on the game. Some games have really good shelling scaling, other games don't. This game's in a pretty good spot with shelling because it's just a high rank game. God darn it. This is going to continue to be rough, isn't it? I feel like the last time I did this hunt, it was not a Devil Joe Devil Joe that he called. I think you see something kind of interesting in World because World's the first time in a long time that you've had proper G rank shelling, shell scaling. For a lot of games, the artillery skills didn't scale super well. I did not bring adamant seeds and I really should have. This is a messy hunt. In the older games, it's a more of a mixture. Specifically, this set I have made is definitely not a shelling focused set. I like Gunlands much more when it's a mixture of things. Not just shelling. Ow. <laughs> Hello, Crystal. Yep, this is a Vita touch screen. It was a green Narga last time, yeah, that's what I thought. So this is a lot more scary. Like, there's been some strong shelling in, in previous games, but I don't think it's been... I don't think it's has been as strong as it is in World before. With our defense down, Ludroth do, like, a big chunk of our health. I'm just trying to heal. Is the Pekka about to leave? He really is. What a jerk. Yeah, they slowed down the, the melee hits in World quite a bit. Like, in this game, you can buffer out hits in really, really quickly with, with Gunlance. World's Gunlance is very interesting. In any case, I'm trying to make the uh, the Crimson Kurapeko gun lance. That's why we're hunting Crimson Kurapeko here. This is a Lugambi gun lance that I finished making last night. At least the double jump isn't here yet. We've got to try and break that beak. Oh, you jerk! No, his songs are so fast. Gecko, thank you for the raid. No. Oh, this is so rough. I 
I need to break this thing's beak so I can try and stop it calling the Joe. Oh no. <laughs> what? He <laughs> didn't flash the Joe. I was counting on that. Didn't know it calls Joe. That's like Pekko's claim to fame, is in low rank it calls all kinds of monsters, and like in high rank it calls some various monsters, but the most iconic the most iconic matchup is definitely Pekko in uh, Double Joe. It doesn't stop it, Uchi, but it does give you a lot more time to stop his uh What's that, Nervina Dinamina? Nervanita Dinamita. What is that uh, link? Yeah, he sings a lot slower once you've. Once you've broken his. Speak. Gonna kill the invading Joe on the Jagia key quest. Is that in this game? Because if so, I'll try. I'll gear up for it. I I didn't even click the link. I mean, all I don't know. There there are all kinds of links out there. I didn't even click it. I wasn't sure if they were advertising themselves or something else. I think we had someone in chat the other night who was who was posting like a YouTube link when they came in, and it's it's okay to do that if we know you, but especially if we don't know you, it's kind of hard to tell if you're linking us to someone that's malicious or not. Straight that way is area seven. Okay. What's up, Gek? Think this is through you? Yeah? I was gonna say. I don't remember that. I didn't know that was in this game. Alright, we have to try and kill this thing before it, uh... Before it calls the Joe again. God darn it, man. This quest is too hard. I do still feel like there's a bit of delay somewhere in this chain from the Vita or from the DualShock 4 to the Vita to OBS's preview. That's something I didn't test this morning is where that was coming from. It was to find out if you could advise me on Monster Hunter 3rd. Well, please do ask before you post a link to the Discord. Is that your Discord you were linking to or what was it? I didn't ban you. I wasn't trying to ban you for it. I just wanted to make sure you talked about it before you post a link. That's all. Man, hang on, the cat's messing with my cables. Be right back. Okay. Yeah, now this has got to change. Oh, 
here. <laughs> this is a bit more of, a, I guess, a first hunt of the day than I expected. see something. I switched from playing on the Dual Shock to playing on the Vita itself. I think there is a little bit of lag in that. I don't know. I'll have to play around with where I think the lag is coming from there. See pixels? Yeah. Yeah, this is not good right now. I'm not able to focus on that double jump. That's okay. We're testing things. <laughs> if we need testing dying, apparently. Yeah, I don't know what it is, Gecko, but I definitely feel like a decent amount of lag when playing with the DualShock 4. There's not much visual lag from the Vita screen to the preview screen. Use the DualShock 3 and see how that feels. Okay, I might. I have a DualShock 3 laying around as well. Vita's analog stick is very sensitive. Hang on a moment. I gotta move a couple things around. Very much still a testing stream. There we go. I hope everyone's having a nice day so far. This is my first opportunity to get to use this latest upgrade to the Lagambi Gun Lance. Which is quite strong. If I can focus in on this Pekko and actually get some hits, it'll be a good time. Stream with Gunlands versus Puzzle. Yeah, yeah. I've managed to barely even hit that beak. Oh, no shells.
I know this is like the thing you're supposed to have to deal with with Pekka, but I'm not, I'm not used to it. <laughs> I'm not ready for it. to Uchi, but when I'm comfortable with the controls and that there's no lag and that I know what's going on. Right now I'm not particularly comfortable with how my controls and everything are set up. Which sounds like a John. Maybe it's a John. But this is definitely a test stream for a reason. Stop it! Let me break your beak! That's not a bad idea, Uchi. Try and get try and get him in a shock trap. Is Joe like Kurapeko's homie? Pretty much. I don't have a pitfall trap with me now. Sweet for easy trips. I'm just trying to get the beak before anything else happens. Here we go. Finally. I also think it physically can't call Joe to this area. I mean, maybe it can, but I don't think it can. There we go. Things are going okay now. Whoops. Need some shells, though. Charge is pretty tricky. And I was fighting regular Peko to make the base version of the Peko Gunlance, so it was giving me some issues. Yeah, playing off of the Vita's controls itself feels more responsive than the DualShock to me. The DualShock felt like playing a little bit on the Wii U, like a little bit of molasses in the controls. Doesn't, didn't feel good to me. Looks 
like he went to area two, maybe? Could be either. Ah, okay, Joe went to area two. Yes. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't think you just call Double Joe in the other area. Sorry, you missed all the tech talk. You mean last night? That's okay. Oh, there is the double jump call. It's still pretty difficult to interrupt his songs, to be completely honest. I always have a hard time doing it. Sure, we're leaving again. Not staying in the area with double jump. Why was I trying all, all um, other controllers? Um, for a couple of reasons. Right now, the cord I've got for the Vita is too short, which is a bummer. Um, I can probably get an extension for that soon. But um, also, it's just the thought of being able to play the games with these visuals on a big monitor without lag with a full controller is pretty appealing. But if there's going to be lag in the controllers, then we're not using those. I'll have to do some research for it. I haven't gotten to research all the aspects of the setup that I've wanted to yet, because I've been trying to stream and trying to sleep. <laughs> Did it go off? It went off. Wow. That was like the last possible second it could have... isn't going well it's going okay there's a lot to still figure out anytime you add a new device to your stack of stuff there's going to be minutia about that device that takes me to get used to for the previous version i'll i'll do that after the uh the stream i'll look into doing it with the, the dualshock 3 or 4 Does it say that somewhere online, Gak? Or are you just hypothesizing? This version nice run or er, runs nice and smooth. I don't know what non hook means. I'm sorry, guy. I'll have to try some of the different versions. That was kind of neat. That went off as the same time as my explosion. Not quite. I guess the shell didn't get out. What mission are we going for? We're fighting Crimson Kuropeka right now to upgrade his gun lance. Also, you're, you're definitely welcome to ask me about Portable 3rd, Nervanita Dinamina. I was just confused about the link that you posted in chat, that's all. You're definitely welcome here. Yeah, we're doing a playthrough of this game right now where we're going to be taking on all of the high rank hub quests, and we're going to be trying to use all weapon types equally. So we spent a long time over the last couple weeks crafting up lots of different high rank weapons. 
I'm kind of just crafting gun lances this morning for fun because I've definitely been enjoying gun lance recently. And we're testing out streaming from a new um, a new platform. We're testing streaming off of a PlayStation Vita today. Slam moving fire. Hopefully this doesn't go wrong. Nice. Oh yeah, right. His roar has impact when regular Pekos doesn't. Dang it. We have to call the Joe. Ooh, that limp though. If only I had still had a trap. I guess I'm not sure what you mean about the chapters. A sloppy hunt. That's okay. Getting used to new setups is like that sometimes. Uh, I started recently and played a long time ago, but don't remember well. No worries. Oh, Bofango. We're in high rank hub right now. So this game basically works, you have low rank village, and you have low rank hub. Low rank hub is a quest that's designed for multiple people, so they're a little harder. And then there's high rank hub. We're in high rank hub, and we're getting towards the end of it. Whoops, why did I do that? We need to do a guard poke there. Do not call the double jump. That's right, give me your healing. It's not good to block those. I should really get out of that habit of letting myself block those. If he carts us right now, we're done. Did you buy that weapon or you can make it? You have to make almost all weapons, so we definitely made this one. This is a high rank Lagambi gun lance. Yep, pretty much all weapons in the game that are worth their while are going to have you... You can start off by buying them or start off with the base level, but you have to upgrade them by fighting monsters and upgrading them yourself. This green is really, really not fun. Charge forwards? Nope. This? Okay, sure. I can deal with this. Get dunked. No, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. We got him. Whew. That's a funky warm up hunt. Yeah, absolutely, Annie. I was waiting to hear from you today. Well, I would actually, don't call me. Definitely make sure you text me. <laughs> the call won't go through right now. That mission is difficult? Yeah, the Devil Joe coming in is not not my favorite thing. 
I think if I was going to practice this hunt, which we might have to, we might have to practice this hunt in order to make the, uh, the weapon I want to make. We'll have to focus on breaking Kurapeko's beak as early as we can. I felt like I was still dealing with control issues before that this time, though, so... I read that as Gunlance with your final. Yeah, best of luck, Andy. You've got it. And congratulations on it being your last one. Okay. I don't think we got any of the Thunderstones that we need. Just a bummer. We broke both his thunderstones. They must be kind of rare. Monster Hunter in the Brain, always. Always Reaper's Eulogy. Wing, scale. Yeah, we didn't get any of the thunderstones. We definitely need some thunderstones. How are we doing on honey? Not super good. Seemed a bit frustrating. It was mainly frustrating because of the Devil Joe and my controls did not feel like how I wanted them to feel like. So, you like trying to break a stressful part break while your controls are different than what you're used to or different than what you're looking for. Like I said, it does sound like a John, but that's how I'm feeling at the moment. Whether that's the reality or not, I'll leave to you to decide, but. It was a little frustrating. I'm glad we were able to finish it up. No, I'll have to pick up food, Annie. But we can pick up some Indian food tonight. Have the Vita outputting to a monitor, not looking down at the console like you usually do with the handhelds. Yeah, I do have the Vita outputting to a monitor through OBS. The screen is turned off on the Vita right now because the Vita both charges and has video capture going through its USB cable. Over time, that can stress the battery. Like, you can kind of start to run down the battery even though it's plugged in right now because it's both capturing and charging over the same cable. So I'm not looking at the Vita's screen because it's turned off to save battery to try and hopefully make it so we can stream for a whole a whole stream here. Um, still figuring out how this whole like Vita system is going to work for streaming. Um, it also looks a lot nicer on the monitor than my PSP did. The PSP, I was only able to fill about, with, with the scaling that I was using for the PSP, I was only able to fill about two-thirds of the monitor, so there was some big like black bars around it. This is filling the screen completely, which is really, really nice. Hey. Okay, Annie, I'll look forward to our evening together. I hope the last final is good. Okay, thanks, Gecko. I think it's probably not that laggy. I think it might be a combination of there's a small amount of lag built into the OBS preview, and there's a small amount of lag built into the DualShock 4 to the point where it kind of compounds a bit. No, I'm not good enough at cooking to cook Indian food with Uchi.
used some noise filtering through OBS to try and make the game sound a little bit less buzzy, so it should sound pretty good. Um, there's an inbuilt audio buzz to the Vita when it's plugged in for capture. I can't seem to get mine to go away with what I've got right now. So hopefully you guys can't hear too much of that. I would imagine this. I would imagine so. Two armed man. I tried to quick Google to see if there are other programs that might be able to give me a less laggy viewing experience, but I think I'll probably just end up playing off the display as long as the battery life isn't too bad. The only problem right, right now with that is that while I'm playing off of the display right now, or I'm playing off the Vita's controls right now, the USB cord I have right now is too short. <laughs> and so it's hard for me to comfortably reach the Vita while we're playing, so I have to I have to make some changes around. Yeah, this is a really satisfying part of the old games to me, Plasmodium, is a, is a nice break in between quests where you get a bunch of free resources. Some of the stuff you can choose what you're going to grow, like right here in a way where if you know you're gonna need more mite seeds to sell for money, or if you know you need more sleep herbs for tranquilizers or whatever, you can you can specify what you want, just like World's thing. So there's still some customization to it, but then it's just kind of nice being able to walk around and gather stuff, have those resources coming in like that. Yeah, this is what I mean where like every time I've gotten a new system and tried to stream from it, I have some, uh, some new issues that are unforeseen that you gotta kind of figure out, which is kind of satisfying to overcome. Because in the end of it, it's like everything's kind of cobbled together, but it uh, it works because you figured it out. <laughs> you are online? Nope, we just do solos. Let's see what we need to upgrade the Peko TP. So we need two volt stones. I guess I should look up where those come from. Oh, Nervanita had a question about finding their friend online. I'm sorry. I missed it. Was it in the Discord? I don't know how Hunstraverse works, so I'm not gonna be much help, but there are people in that Discord who do use Hunstraverse quite frequently. Yeah, Nervanita. I unfortunately haven't I haven't set I haven't set that up before, so I'm not sure how it works. Some of the people in the Discord, like Gecko, have set up the uh, the, mul the multiplayer setup a couple times. Volt stones are wing breaks on Crimson Peko. That's what I thought. Oh, and the Vita screen just turned back on randomly. Okay, here, hang on. Just some things. I think we should be good. I'm now playing off the Vita's screen. The whole setup's a little stretched, though. So we need to kill more Crimson Peko. That's kind of scary to me. I've noticed that even having a big preview of the same game that I'm playing on a handheld screen sometimes can make it feel a little bit odd to me. Because you can kind of see out of the corner of your eye the slight delay between the two of them. Maybe that's really nitpicky, I don't know. All 
Alright. That's the flooded forest that we just did. Is there two Crimson Peko quests here? Nope, it's just that one. At least you can escape the buzzing in your waking hours. Were you hearing buzzing in your sleep, Marth? That sounds scary. Yeah. So I think I'll have to get like a USB cable extension. You can hear it here if you try to very faintly. I have some noise suppression on, so it should be suppressing some of it, but I wasn't able to completely get rid of it on my own today. I tried my best though, Marth. So I, I spent like an hour kind of messing around with plugging cables into different ports, and I actually had some ferrite beads. Ferrite beads are little things that clip around cables that are supposed to reduce electrical signal. They did actually slightly reduce the noise, but it's not all the way yet. So I have something coming in the mail from Amazon that might help later on. Can you make use of the Vita's dual analog sticks? Yes, you can. Yep. Which is really nice, actually. Um, they're kind of fiddly. I haven't gotten used to them yet because they're very small, full analog sticks. So they're very sensitive. What did we get there? Nice. Yeah, in general, this is a very nice experience. The Vita's screen itself is very, very sharp, which is enjoyable. It should be quite sharp on you guys' end, especially when we're standing still. Um... When we're moving, the, the video compression will be a little more intense. Let's remember to bring some adamant seeds with us, just in case. Just in case we get that devil Joe with us again. Ooh, I only have two of them. Yikes. Nice, Mars. That's awesome. Congratulations. That's good. That's good. Sorry, you were asking me those questions as I was falling asleep, so I hope you didn't ask any that I missed, but I hope it helped out. Ooh, secret area. It's always fun when you spawn in the secret area because you get a couple mines, maybe some charms. Mystery charms are nothing special. Yeah, when is the Freemy Night stream, Marts? Do you have a very progressed save in that game? Or are you going to be starting fresh? I don't know if you use the mic and cam though. That's okay. It took me a little while to kind of get to the point where I wanted to use a microphone and camera. You're pretty fresh still and blind. Ooh, that would be fun to watch. I would watch someone play through Freemy Night for the first time. Yeah, Gek, it happened again just now while I was streaming where the, the Vita screen just kind of turned back on its own for no apparent reason. Okay, go ahead and pitch it, Marths. I was supposed to throw a paintball at him. Okay, we gotta hope he doesn't have a double Joe with him this time. That's a small monster he's calling. I did get that shell off. Oops. You're buying a 3DS XL? Congrats! Do I recommend that you start with 3 Ultimate? Um, have you played any of those games before? Like any, have you played Generations Ultimate before on the Switch or anything like that? During every hunt you'd have the game and it's two times speed mode? I don't think I would watch that personally. Nothing, like, it's nothing personal against you, Marts. I just don't like it when people use the speed up in emulators. It bothers me. Um, I think most people are going to say if you only are going to play one of the games on the DS, definitely go for 4 Ultimate. 4 Ultimate's really good. 
Um, but they're all three good purchases. They all have good, good amounts of content. GU probably has the most variety. Four Ultimate's probably the best of the three. Three Ultimate's neat if you want to check out the underwater combat. Oh, thank the lord. It's a Ludroth this time and not a Devil Joe. It would definitely be a challenge, Marth, the, uh, the speed-up thing. It would just... I don't know. Whenever I see someone use that in emulator, it kind of bothers me a little bit. That green sharpness is really killer. Gotta watch out for those thunderstones. I guess I don't even know if that'd be feasible, Marths. Like, you'd have to really do some testing and see if it was possible to actually make that work. I hear the loo draw. Or no, just little loo draw. Too early on the hop there. Did Kaku with Lance, it was surprisingly manageable. I mean, it's a neat challenge. I don't know if other people feel like me. I feel like most people are fine with the speed up. I don't know how most people would feel about seeing someone play like speed up the entire time. Some people might find that really interesting, others might find it kind of weird. I don't think most people are like me where they just don't like the speed up. Oh man, I'll so take a Ludroth over a Devil Joe. So much. Like, maybe I should wait before I say something like, I wouldn't watch it. I'd definitely check it out. I think... I do generally not like the speed up, but that's just me. I would still definitely check out the challenge. Is going well. It is going okay so far. Yeah, it is. Got... Feels much better than last time, both control wise and fight wise. <laughs> Roth is leaving. Good stuff. He's gonna jump one, two, three. Okay. Oh, you are such a jerk. <laughs> Hopefully, it takes a minute for Roth to come back. Hey, Mossy Muffin. Oh, nope, here it comes. Oh, Paco. Oh, Paco. And then he runs away to buff it, too. Fine, then you're leaving. I'm gonna try out Whirlwind Latrian drops? Probably not. I think I've made the decision, Plaz, that I think I will enjoy the new content in World more if I'm more invested in a playthrough. Like, I enjoyed Raging Brachian, Furious, or Jang when they came out. 
but I didn't feel any drive to make their weapons or their armor because I'm just not playing world very often. So I think that I will wait to experience those until I go back to world. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a fresh world playthrough probably towards the end of the year. Like starting fresh, playing through all the quests and all the weapons to try and really experience that game. Just dropping in once in a while doesn't feel super good to me. Oh, we got hit by it still. No! I missed it. We're done with 3U for now. Um, I have not played 3U uh, on, stream, on stream very often. We played a lot of 4U this year, and I am done with that for the foreseeable future. Um, for the for the near future, at least. Don't cart me. Um, we got to the end of high rank in that game. We got right on the entrance to G rank, and we're taking a break to go back and play 3 Ultimate and Portable 3rd. You're all good, you're all good. I kind of figured that's what you meant. We're taking a break to go back and play um, Portable 3rd and Freebie Knight for a while and do a lot of stuff in these games before we go back to, um, to 4 Ultimate. Tried streaming Discord last night. It lagged in-stream and in-game. Okay. Yeah, for OB OBS will be a little lighter than Discord because you can tweak the settings, but it's definitely something where before you commit to a certain game or a certain style of like graphics for your stream, it's definitely good to see how it works once you're, once you're actually streaming out. Is that a bad sign for Twitch? Maybe, maybe not. Here, 18 Navi drops tonight. Is that tonight? Rad. to nuke something with the QR fire. <laughs> well, I hope that'll be fun. Nice, broke the wing. Really trying to break that beak. Yep, Vita stream, Parsec. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so far, the only things I need to work out from this still are I need to get a longer USB cable. I need to see if I can stomach playing on a controller. If there's low enough lag, I might be able to deal with it, but even playing off the Vita itself to the OBS preview just feels kind of sluggish to me. I can't deal with it. So I think I'm just gonna have to commit to playing like I always play, which is looking down at the handheld. Um, <laughs> I don't mind it. So we gotta figure out the audio buzz, and we gotta make sure that the battery life is gonna last with me playing off the Vita screen. If we can't play on the Vita screen, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Find a way to reduce OBS's preview lag. I hope I didn't ruin playing in OBS for you, Gek. <laughs> can't block those. It's not a good thing to do. That's a bad gunman's play. It's probably OBS since I don't have a dedicated graphics card. That's definitely, that definitely could be the case. You have no lag online? Oh. That definitely could be a thing. It could just be my PC sucks and that's why there's some lag in OBS's preview. I'll research ways to try and reduce that. Should be able to get a battery pack? Well, you see, <laughs> the Vita only has one port, and that port is used for both charging and the video capture we're doing right now. Have no GPU? Nope. I stream off of a very budget APU system. I built this maybe a year ago now, a little over a year ago. Um, 
like a $350 PC is what I'm streaming off of right now. It is just enough to run 900p on Twitch at 60 with a green screen, and that's about it. No, they're not terrible. They've come a long way. I remember when integrated graphics were very, very poor. It's about time for an upgrade, though. Gek was advising me to invest in like a mid-range NVIDIA GPU to handle the uh, the encoding. Here, let's see if I can get away with making him leave. Here comes Kurapeko, skipping down the lane. God darn it, Ludra. <laughs> Build a Vita Dock with a Raspberry Pi. You can do what, Gecko? Can you link me to that? If there's a way to have a zero lag preview up on my other monitor, that would solve issues as well. That sounds appealing to me. Thank you so much. For helping me with all the links and plugins and stuff, Gecko. You're, you're very, very helpful. It's made the last day or so a lot easier than if I was trying to figure out all the stuff on my own. Ugh. Getting dunked on. Yeah, vertical shelling a high up face feels real good. No, it's back. Of course it is. It left and immediately came back. That sounds about right. You smug. how smug you are now. If, I think I have better luck with making things leave when I make the Kurapeko itself leaves. It seems like it has to wait a little bit when it leaves areas before it can call things properly. It seems like when I make the other monsters leave, they just like come back almost immediately. Ludroth just leave. Ludroth left too. Hmm. What audio should you use? At best, the game sounds like Nightcore. Um, I don't know, Marth. You could put together playlists of just music you like, or Monster Hunter covers. You could have song requests sometimes. I always have a, tr a hard time picking music that will be okay for extended periods of time while streaming. It's kind of hard to come up with like a soundtrack for your stream that's not re like repetitive and that is like gonna gel well enough. Do you have perma song request up? You could do that. You could do what Katniss does and just play play like one song on repeat the entire stream. <laughs> that dude's stream is rad. Props to Katniss. Yeah, Rasputin. That's all you need, dude. Rasputin. Yeah. See, I think it, I have better luck making the Peko itself leave rather than the other monster. All right. Well, I still bounce off those arm stocks. I don't know. I mean, you could just have like a large playlist of Monster Hunter covers and themes and just shuffle it. It would mean, mean that sometimes it wouldn't always gel with your mood, but it means you probably have like rare repeats. If you put all the game's OSTs and the covers of those OSTs and Frontier stuff into like a giant playlist on YouTube, it would probably go pretty well. Hello, Nefutis. Welcome to chat. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. You 
you have to prepare for the week of May 4th. Why is the week of May 4th, Marths? Is that Star Wars week? Have we broken speak yet? We still haven't broken speak. Or no, we have. It's chipped. Never mind. I lied. Oh, your college campus reopens. You have to take proctored exams. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. That's That doesn't sound like much fun at all. Well, I hope that week goes well and that you stay safe and do okay on your exams. I hope if you do get to stop by at all during that week that the streams can be relaxing. Let me know when you're all done. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make... I'm gonna instate a thing. If any of you are students and taking exams and all of this, upon taking your final exam, you get a free token to choose a hunt and a weapon I have to do. We don't have that many people in chat who are in school, so you know what? Let's do it. Let's do that. God, screw you. <laughs> all the way up in the loading zone. Get out of... <laughs> I get so tilted by multi-monsters, dude. Get out of here. Get. Go. Hang out in the loading zone where I can't even get to him. Mm. I shouldn't let myself get that upset. You'll be sure to hang on to that. Please do. Like, I don't know. I think I like letting folks choose things for, like, their birthday or for when they end school. I think it's neat. It's like, if I'm just going to sit here and play a bunch of video games, at least let me make it feel special for people sometimes. Multi monsters is a regular to MH as swinging as is swimming your boomstick. That's true. Play these. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where I thought that was going. Welcome to the stream, Blackwalks. I hope you're doing well. And no, sorry, we only play Monster Hunter. Dang. I mean, I could tell what he was going for. I was trying to see if he was either just going to say D's nuts or if he was going to request like a song or a particular game. Imagine if this was try and there were three monsters per map. Did all of those monsters spawn initially at the very beginning of the quest? Or were they spawned in at different points in time? Might be a song called These Nuts. There's definitely a song called These Nuts. about Iceborne? We're not going to be playing Iceborne for a while. Um, we played a lot of it last fall, and I want to go back to it when I, I'm going to give it a lot, of, a lot of effort. We're going to start a fresh playthrough later this year of Iceborne. Play through the entire game, all weapons, and all quests. Boo, you're off. First game is World, you never played this? That's okay. Probably the thing I think about the series most is that each game has things about it that's really fun or really good about it and makes it worth playing. Oh my god, I hate multi-monsters so much. God darn it, that was my last dung bomb because I wasted so many of them on the Peko standing loading zone. 
rip. That's okay. You guys need to get cards sometimes. Or beans sometimes. Maybe they'll give me dung bombs in the reward box. Or in the supply box. Yeah, that, that single small Ludroth. Yeah, it's never coming back, dude. Got rid of that one singular small monster. So glad. Oh, good. They gave you more dung in the box. Yeah, like, I don't know. There are some things about World that are really, really cool and are something you just can't do with some of the older games. And then there's stuff about the older games that they've kind of moved past when they when they went to World, and some of that stuff is really neat, too. It's worth seeing and playing. all your drag train quests from high rank to ex with karala nice i haven't gotten the chance to really sit in, sit in on their streams yet i've rated them a couple times but they always stream like after i stream and i'm always like trying to fall asleep This is one of the older entries in the series. It came out on the PSP and the PlayStation 3, only in Japan. We're playing a fan translated English patch of it. Real quick, I want to see if there's a higher chance of getting Thunderstones from killing him or from capturing him. Do I play Longsword? Heck yeah! I can play some Longsword next. We made a really cool Longsword recently. Give me just a moment. I want to double check that. I want to finish this guy off the right way. Crimson Kurapeko. Okay. Volt Stone, you get a... The Chronicle webpage is having a hard time. Okay. Volt Stone, which is what we need, are kind of like the stones on his wings. You get them as a 60% chance from breaking his wing. And... You get them... As a 21% chance on capture you don't have a chance to get them from body carves. So we do want to capture him. Did sound get better on the PS Vita? Slightly. I spent like an hour with it this morning, kind of tweaking around with different cable, like different ways my cables could go together and adding some sound filters in OBS to the point where unless we're paused like that, you guys shouldn't hear it too badly. Last night it was very buzzy, very bad. Um, so for now it should be okay. It might sound a little odd sometimes, but I have some stuff coming in the mail from Amazon, which will hopefully help me make it even clearer. Yeah, we try and play all the weapon types on the stream. Oh no. Okay, good, we got the trap down. Get in that trap. Don't fight a new sub without you, don't worry. I think we're just, it's really just a casual stream today. We're just hunting to test out the whole Vita thing. Dun, dun, dun. Hopefully we got two of those stones. I think we just needed two of them. Two volt stones. So we have a chance from breaking his arm, and we have a chance from capturing him. It was actually the highest chance of the capture items, so hopefully we do get it. 
Play great sword or long sword, please. Okay. On our normal streams, how we do how we do weapon requests is as I'm doing new fights, as we were progressing through the game and we're doing hunts I haven't done before, like trying to clear all the quests, I'll have a raffle going where I'll have everyone put their name in a hat and I'll draw a name out of the hat and that person gets to pick. But right now we're not doing any new hunts, so I'm totally fine with just doing whatever. We did not get any Volt Stones, which is bizarre to me because we broke his wings and we captured him. Must have just gotten unlucky. Oh well. How long will I stream? Um, not super long today. Today's gonna be a weird stream day. This is kind of just a test. So I'll go until the rest of my day needs to start. I'm gonna be having dinner with my girlfriend and the stream, if any, if I, if I stream at all tonight, it'll be kind of late, like last night was. It might be a co-op stream today, it might not. My day's just kind of all over the place. We're getting to the good stuff in Portable 3rd though. We're missing, we're missing something. Hmm. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, sorry. Sorry it's not a more in-depth heads up. But <laughs> that's the best I can give today. This is this is maybe the only stream for today. I hope it won't be, but it might be. We're missing dung bombs, we used them all up. That's what we're missing. Okay. There we go. All right, let me grab out the long sword that we've got our hands on right now. This is a green Nargakuga long sword. for a fight. We could try Baryoth with, with Longsword. It sounds kind of spooky, but I kind of want to try it. We still need, I think, maybe one more claw from Baryoth, or one or two more claws from Baryoth to upgrade his sword and shield. for a change of pace from the Crimson Peko. Redeem. He's all the fan. 
Hope you're doing well today. Oops. Will I do a second playthrough of third when you have nothing to do in your current playthrough? Um, not for a long time. <laughs> Each, in the, each of the games in the series right now, I'd like to try and experience pretty fully. I'm not going to say that I'm going to do every event quest ever, or... I don't know, make every armor piece or anything. But I want to try and do most of the quests. I want to spend a lot of time fighting a lot of fights with a lot of different weapons. Um, and so after I've played those games, I'll probably take a break from them for a while. Both because we probably, we'll probably spend a long time on each one, and because that way, the next time we play a playthrough of it, whether it's long or short, or uh, quick, or, quick or slow, that next playthrough, it'll be more, I don't know, it'll be more enjoyable. I think going back to games while I'm working on other games feels fun occasionally. Like, sometime soon here, we'll probably have a four ultimate night, or we'll do a little more GU co-op. But trying to switch back and forth between a bunch of games all at once makes it tougher for me to focus on each individual one and try and practice the fights that we're doing, and, you know, it's just a little rougher. This version of Monster Hunter looks like Animal Crossing. Yeah, a couple of the older games have little farms where you can go around and gather in between quests. I really like it. Not everyone does, but I'm a big fan of being able to go into there and gather some items up in between quests. The farm is like world and that you can kind of tell them what you want to farm. And then there's other parts of it where you can gather bugs and meat and stuff, which is cool. Yeah, it's pretty different. There's some things that are still quite the same, and there are other things that are pretty different, like the progression through the game is pretty much just the same. I mean, you don't have an optional quests and um, assigned quests. They're kind of mixed together in the ranks here. So unless you look them up online, you're not sure which quests are required. But there's a lot that's still pretty similar. Where is that Baryoth? There he is. This is the meal system for this game. This is different than all the other classic games and world in that rather than eating food, you go and you dip in the hot spring. Um, and that gives you your health and stamina bonus. And then over here, you get to choose what skills you want. So it's a little separate. It's interesting. Let's see. Now we get Bomber Deer where we're not using Gunlance, of course. Let's see. Baryoth is giving me a pretty rough time recently. So we're going to go ahead with Defender up and Defender low. Just in case we get smacked up while we're trying to learn how to fight this guy with Longsword. I have not fought this guy with Longsword before. So this should be interesting. And by interesting, I mean maybe a struggle. <laughs> Need more hot drinks than that. Hi. It's kind of neat. This game is 10 years old, so it's kind of neat to me seeing what things are very different 10 years later in Monster Hunter and what things are kind of the same still. This is a good spawn. He spawns here. Didn't unlock subspecies? Yeah, Azure and Pink are not in this game. Only Silver and Gold. I have a really hard time iframing through that move. Oop. I didn't see him starting that move up either. There it is, though. That move is one of the few moves that feels safe to, uh, to heal after. You joke, but there actually is a quest like that in this game, Zelda the fan, and we're going to try and do it. Uchi says it'll have an easier time with it because it's not the four ultimate wraths, but I don't know. We'll see. How come it doesn't have any damage indicators? Um, World was the first game that added that. I did not bring cleansers. Shoot. 
So how you tell how you could tell if you're doing good damage was if the the blood effects and the sparks that come off the monster when you shoot them or hit them were big, and the sound effects also get deeper and throatier when you hit a, a part of the monster that takes good damage. It helps to look up online, just kind of like how you have to look up in, in world sometimes what zones of the monster are weak in the hunter's notes. There are no in-game hunter's notes for that in these games, but there are resources for it online. Websites. World was not the first game that added that. Monster Hunter Online added that. I'm sorry. I wasn't counting Monster Hunter Online. Monster, Monster Hunter World was the first game that mattered that added that. Sorry if that's a hot take. <laughs> Ugh, I'm having a hard time with him down here. Alright, well, let's just deal with the baggy. I don't want to try and climb back up there. The climbing is so slow in this older game that it's, he gives it, it gives you a big or it gives him a big chance to hit you. We also have to remember what moves of his were safe to heal after. Well, Capcom made online, but the Monster Hunter team didn't make online. Actually, was was online made by COG or a different a different company? Riss is off today? I'm not off today. This fight's hard. <laughs> I've been having a lot of trouble with this fight recently with all the weapons that we've taken on with. I don't feel like I don't feel like a god at Monster Hunter today, but I definitely don't feel super off. Oop, that's gonna get us hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's rough to deal with when you don't have a shield. I really should have brought cleansers, I wasn't thinking. Okay, so we have a full spirit bar. We can go, now go for the, the spirit combo to get our gauge up. He's pretty fast, though, so we're going to have to get really lucky if we want to finish it properly. He does not say, stay still. Alright, I think he's leaving the area. No, he's just going for that again. Fourth gen improved. Fourth gen improved lots of things. Climbing is an obvious one. Old gen climbing is kind of torturous. Most of the time they don't put you in an environment where you have to try and climb and there's a monster going on. This is an exception to that. But a lot of things in general, the weapons do move a little more fluidly in fourth gen than they do in third gen definitely before then, clearly. <laughs> I just pressed R like I had a shield. Fourth gen rats, fourth gen metal rats are worse than the older ones, in my opinion. Yeah, Monster Hunter Online was the first Monster Hunter game with damage numbers. I just didn't count it. I forgot null berries too. Did not come super prepared for this berry off. Second one was explore. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know explore had them, but I, I extra don't count explore as part of the Monster Hunter series. I'm sorry. It's a cool like Monster Hunter spinoff, but it's definitely not part of the series really. I was under the impression that explore was out before online. Fifth gen medals? I haven't fought enough of them to give a good opinion on them. I'm most fresh on the fourth gen rats and I've had a hard time overcoming some of their patterns. What about the one that came before Explore? Dynamic hunting? Did that have did that have damage numbers? Yeah, 
Yeah, that one, if we just... Don't believe it did? Now there's a truly lost Monster Hunter game. Yep. Yeah, this is the kind of fight where it's really hard to get any sort of large combo off on Baryoth, especially before you've broken his wings. Oh, especially if you're also with him like a jerk. They already did game, God. The second title is Iceborne. And they said that it's going to be the last one, um, the last game before they do another new one. I guess we'll see. I guess there could be another game that's sort of classified by, like, like World in the 5th gen. But they did say they're not updating World itself anymore. Ouch. Man, that is just tough. I really remember being able to roll through that hip check. Okay, he's in rage now, so we have to look out for that hop into charge. We can probably heal right now. Dynamic Hunting was another mobile game in the style of Monster Hunter Explore. Yeah, I'm interested to see whatever they do with the series. Any new games will be cool to check out. Man. Longsword is rough in this one. Oh, and here's the baggy. Alright, Fade Slash can get you out of there, I guess. No, it was, yeah, it, it was it was like a smartphone game, Uchi. It was just before, it was before, um, it was before Explore. It, it is in my mind. I've seen screenshots of it. It, it seems somewhat similar to Explore style of gameplay. Your power went out? Oh, I'm sorry, Ken. That's not good. Hey. What am I doing position-wise? <laughs> Nothing good.
He almost got us with his wall jump. Yeah, that's what I thought. Low on stamina, low on health. They both left. Okay. I'm guessing the Baryoth went to the cave. It's so like them to both leave, too. We'll just go through this area to see. Thanks, Zelda fan. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a good time at work. See ya. Right. Haven't managed to break one of his wings yet. I go for those Banabras. No! This monster! Will not sit still. To be fair, I hesitated there for a second because I wasn't sure if he was going to keep going. I could have gotten the whole combo off there if I hadn't hesitated. Really very off. He's leaving. Hello, Schmeg Leskimo. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're well today. Called Monster Hunter I. Oh, okay. So there was like an old school mobile phone one, huh? Enjoy your movie on Netflix, Gecko. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. And thanks again for all the help with the Vita stuff. Alright, hang on. What is Monster Hunter I? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's that's something. Hang on. <laughs> the screenshots are like the size of a postage stamp. Some of them are like doubled and they're like, oh, it's like a it's like a big postage stamp. Other ones are like the real res of the game and they're like a really tiny postage stamp. 
Oh my goodness. Must love it. It was sub based. What's sub based? Like subscription? Oh lord, really? Whoops. OBS is weird about adding images for me sometimes. I can't seem to get it to show up here. Let me just browser capture. Um, let me just browser capture it. <sighs> Never mind. Very goofy there. Check that out if you guys want to. Super silly. Super old, crusty fo looking phone game. Sorry, OBS wasn't letting me do browser stuff or image stuff at the moment. Good times. Oh, sound's gone? Yeah, I, oops. I put it, I put the sound off when we were looking at the picture. My bad. Yeah. That was my fault. I should have remembered to turn it back on. Someone was saying something about Baryoth not being a good fight yesterday. I don't know. I'm feeling stumped with this fight consistently. I might be. Like, I don't know if I'm crazy. It just feels like a lot of weapons just don't get many openings. I don't know. And that's pretty frustrating. Like, even once you break his wings, it feels like there's not a ton of openings. Like, I'm not asking for there to be openings for where I can fit a whole combo in or something, but I guess I cannot fathom how you would physically, like, get a, a gauge of of spirit in this in this fight, aside from him tripping. Oh, see. It looked like it was going to go, though, didn't it? Have I bowed it? Not yet. I'm not saying it's a bad matchup, like a bad fight for all weapons. I'm just saying I'm feeling very stumped trying to get in with a lot of weapons. Where it's like here 15 minutes in, we haven't broken a single thing on him. Even once you break his wings. Even once you break his wings, he still moves around a ton. And like, it also could just be, I'm just bad. Because I am at this fight, but... It feels very stumped, like, I'm very stumped with this fight. That's what I've been doing. That's all I've been doing so far this hunt, is just attacking its wings. I don't know. Like I said, feeling stumped.
Finally, there we go. That's what I thought he was trying to do. He missed the wall the first time he went for it. It's goofy. Ouch. Well, oh, shouldn't have healed at all. We'll see if we can finish the fight out. We did decently well him against him with Gunlance last night. But I feel like every other weapon I've tried against him, even Sword and Shield, had a pretty tough time. I do do y'all use for portable third? Um, a combination of things. GameFAX portable third board has good um, hit zone data and good weapon trees. Um, as far as where to find certain resources, I just use three ultimates Karaniko. There's going to be some differences, but there's some things that are pretty similar in terms of what drops will come from what zones of a monster and what small monsters drop what materials. Baggies here. I guess let's get the baggie to leave. Finally, there we go. Okay, both wounds are broken. We'll see how much more that opens up the fight. I got a gauge level! Wow! keeps pinging your hunter's phone. Huh? Let's pause a separate break. I don't think so. No. Just wings and tail and face. Hello, Dravos. The sword sound? Ah, I like the sword sound a lot.
be better at just hitting the darn thing. There's literally nothing you can do as long strike if you're in that position. So you shouldn't be in that position, I suppose. Yeah, like I said, I don't I don't know that I think this is a bad fight, but it definitely is stumping me quite a bit. So luck, Ken. I hope you're able to get it all fixed. thrown into that little hole. The tail got me and so did the baggie and now I'm stunned! <laughs> so sloppy. I guess he flew overhead here somewhere. He's down in area one. That would make sense, I guess. I didn't see his soul light go by, but it makes sense. Hello, Kaze. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Hi. You're gonna need to be more religiously using Fade Slash to end engagements with him, even if it feels like he's gonna jump away most of the time. It allows me movement options, like to get out of the way of hip checks and such. Can we get hit? Nope, not quite. Wow. Hope you're well. I'm doing pretty okay. This fight stumped me. It's giving me a hard time, as I thought he probably would with Longsword. This would be great with Forward Slight Slash. Mm -hmm. Got some of your buddies into Iceborne, so you're just flexing on them? Nice. That sounds like fun. How far into the game are they? You're not memeing? It would be. You're right. Having a way for Longsword to respond to certain things would be nice.
one finished the story that owns a black veil. That's pretty close to the end of the story. Yep, there we go. That religious fade slash there. Up this guy. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. Oh. Ooh, that was risky. This is it. Nope, I'm dead. I'm not dead. He always seems to hit me with his tail just before I need to run away. Freaking ice bite. To be honest, I'm not very good at damage calc math. I'm good at understanding it in theory, but I'm not good at actually labbing it out. Like, okay, I take my set plus my weapon plus this setup. Like, I'm not good at doing that. Not even a little. Did I really forget to paintball him again? I did. I have gotten into such bad habits with paintballs. That's good, Kaze. That's a good first step. I feel like giving them some details about how the game works and then ask, hoping that they'll ask you questions to follow up about like, okay, well, like, how do I do more damage to like this type of a thing or that kind of a thing? That's how you gotta do it. Good, I'm glad to hear it. I've been teaching a couple of my friends recently, and that was something I was very grateful for, is that they're asking good questions, both of them. forward. Mm -hmm. So fate slashed. Woo! It's risky. Relying on fade slashes for mobility is kind of helpful, but not when he spams not when he spams the hip thrust. <laughs> I was just feeling good about having dodged it with the fade slash, so he's probably like, not gonna dodge it twice. <laughs> Again, this fight does feel good to get slightly more like accustomed to with different weapons, but I do think it stumps me quite a bit when I'm learning. response to that situation. That's a move that is safe to heal after. And so is the taunt. Can we get another bounce? Nice. Okay. And he's leaving. 
Can we do it? Please don't be a baggie in the same area. Please don't be a baggie either. That's all I ask of you. Good. Well, I don't care about the little baggies. I mean the big baggie. Hello, big flyer. Welcome. Cute emote. Hope you're doing well today. <sighs> I wanted to iframe through that tail so bad. I feel like that's also a safe move to heal after. Maybe. Nope, I guess not. No! The baggies here. Which makes the situation so much more stressful. The tail is cruel, you can't iframe it. You can iframe it. I do it all the time. Just, it's a lot more dependent on angle. I guess you can't iframe it exactly like Nargus. It is possible to iframe it though. I got you. I'm sorry. I, I misunderstood your message at first, Uchi. Slower and chunkier is a perfect way to describe that move. Yeah, it'd be good to iframe it. <laughs> Power's back? Good, Ken. I'm glad. Welcome back. Same barrier. I'm feeling a little better about fighting him with Longsword. Last cart though. And we're at potions. No, we're not. We have one potion. Yikes. I don't think it's limping yet, so this might not go. We'll see. I bet it's close to death though. Fade Slash towards it. I'm trying to use the Fade Slash more so that I don't get stuck in front of him when he's going to do something, but <laughs> Fade Slashing could be in front of him doesn't work very well either. was not clean with longsword by any means. Like I said, might be pretty tough that one. <laughs> Woo! I'm glad we finished it. He feels like such more of an intimidating monster in this game than anywhere else I've ever fought him. I'm looking at the stream on my iPad. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with how it how it looks through the Vita. Oh. 
Hopefully we get the claws. We need to upgrade his um his sword and shield. Wyvern Claws. <laughs> That's not what I need. There we go. There's a Claw Plus. I think we need four of them all together, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. What's Ugg? What's Ugg again? Power's off again? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Wings are 25 slice. Okay. That also makes some sense as to why the wings take so long to break at the beginning of the fight. Is you're like the first the first half of the fight, if you're aiming for the parts you should be aiming for, you're aiming for 25 hit zones, which is really, really poor. only five fire maybe 25 thunder yeah i guess so read the wrong column ah okay 30 fire. That sounds more like it. We're missing one more item, and I can't remember what it is. missing something. Oh, I hate when this happens. Can't remember what I'm missing, but I'm missing something from the box. Psycho Serum? Thank you. Wow. Y'all are so helpful. Thank you. I don't know what I would do without chat. I really, really don't. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more Crimson Kurapeko. I'll probably use the bathroom before we do that. And then I might end the uh, the Vita test stream. Aside the faint audio buzz that I'm trying to deal with over the next couple days, how, what do you guys think of the stream off the Vita? I know it's probably not that different. Be less crazy, but also less informed. <laughs> yeah, this is true. It should be a little smoother than the, uh, the PSP. It should be a little sharper than the PSP. There's no loud jet engine in my ear like the PS3. I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's super smooth? Yeah, it should be. It should be quite smooth. And like the PSP was still holding its own. It was still holding pretty close to like 29, 30, 31 frames a second, but it was really inconsistent, so it looked kind of stuttery. You just got here, but it looks great. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> It's kind of neat. There are these, there are these visual effects that we can apply if we wanted to, where there's like sort of scan line looking stuff. There's stuff that makes it look like a PSP screen. I'm sure that if we were moving around on Twitch, this would not hold up super well, but I think it kind of looks neat. I will not leave it on. All you hear is bzzz? Really? You can hear it that much, Derp? I'm sorry. I spent like an hour trying to architect a way where it wasn't super noticeable in, in OBS. I have some more hardware showing up in the mail later this week that will hopefully help cut down on that audio noise.
Oh, white palace? You're at a white palace? Huh? I'm very confused, Derp. I'm sorry, you've lost me. Oh, he means in Hollow Knight. Oh. Okay. We were just talking about audio buzz on the screen on the stream, and so I was concerned that you were hearing a bunch of audio buzz, and I was like, oh no. Derp has these sensitive ears. And then I thought he was just for the moment talking about White Castle, which is like a crappy fast food place around here. Now I get it. Streamer projecting. I'm sorry that the White Palace is awful with buzz saws. I didn't get very far in Hollow Knight. I feel like I got maybe like a quarter or a third into the way of, of the way into the game. It's fun to traverse though. The castle or Hollow Knight in general? Hollow Knight in general I thought was pretty well done. I know not everyone loves it, but I liked it. <laughs> the one cat didn't get any fish, he got confused. Hey, Soy Soft for Life, welcome back. It's always good to see your name in chat. It's been a while you've been so busy. Well, hopefully you're doing well, even if you're busy in these, in these times. Did we finish Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate? We did not finish it by any means, but we got to the end of High Rank Hub. We unlocked G Rank. We, kill, we soloed our first Alamadur, and then we're taking a break to play some Portable 3rd for a while, and then Free Unite for a while before we go back. There are some hunts in these older games that I want to do before I, like for the first time, to see what their hunts were like in the old games before I take them on in 4 Ultimate or uh, Monster Hunter World. So we're playing this game to take on um, Alatrian, Amatsu Magatsuchi, and I guess some of the subspecies. We're going to be taking on a Cantor, Yukanlos, I guess not so much a Cantor, but Yukanlos and Fatalis in Free Me Night. Congrats, though. Thank you. This is the hardest thing you've ever done. Best of luck, friend. So yeah, 4 Ultimate won't be a regular occurrence on the stream for a while. We're still doing multiplayer nights for 4 Ultimate a couple times. Or, like, every once in a while. I think our next one's next week. But... Is this the one with the underwater fights? Sort of. I guess this one doesn't have any underwater fights. You're thinking about third gen Monster Hunter. Um, the games in third generation of Monster Hunter are Monster Hunter Try, which had the underwater combat, but was kind of a limited game. Didn't have a ton of monsters. It was a kind of a big breaking point for the series from like all the games before it were very different than Monster Hunter Try. Um, and then you have this game and you have port, uh, 3 Ultimate. 3 Ultimate also has the underwater combat. This was released on the PSP and it doesn't have any of the underwater. And it has some very different monsters than Try. So this one doesn't have any underwater, but it does take place during that generation of games. This generation was the first generation to add monsters getting tired during the fights. Um, it reworked a lot of hitboxes. It added monsters like Xenogre and um, lots of monsters. Uh, Xenogre, Brachidios, Lag Lagiacris. Lots of monsters that haven't returned since. My mind just blanked about third gen monsters. It was like third gen monsters, name a third gen monster. And over. That's all I can't mind. All right, we're gonna do some more gun lancing. Like Jaggy, yeah, Jaggy. Pekko's third gen only, yeah. Monsters that have not come back since third gen are uh, Kurapeko, Giganox, Gen Maren, um I guess Ligaya Chris has, but only kind of. Stuff like Baggy and Roggy have only been in third gen. So there's a, there's a good chunk of kind of exclusive monsters and exclusive subspecies to this game. I guess maybe not exclusive subspecies to this game, but exclusive subspecies to this generation of game. Okay, do we get Bomber Deer? No, of course we don't get Bomber Deer. <laughs> now that we're using a gun lance, of course we don't. Ooh, that's going to be good. Oh, 
we didn't get Great Break. Great Break was going to be good for us because we're going to be balancing off of Kurapeko. Alright, I'm going to use the bathroom before we go on this hunt. This might be the last hunt of our afternoon stream, I think. There might be an evening stream, there might not tonight. My day's kind of a little weird, but I'm happy that we got to stream off the Vita today. I still have some things to work out with it, but I'm happy to have one. Because it seems to be working pretty cool. Pretty well. <laughs> be right back. The battery of the Vita seems to be holding up even though we're playing with the screen on right now, which is encouraging. Sorry, I'm sneezing there. Did I transfer my save from the PS3 to the Vita? Yep. I'm able to transfer the save from the PSP to the PS3 and then to the Vita and then back again. It's nice. Hi, Ferret. Hi, Talknail. Yeah, the Vita runs things very nicely, and the screen on the actual Vita itself is really, really awesome. What's my favorite Monster Hunter? That's a really tough question. Um, I think one of my core like beliefs and kind of goals for the channel is to try and highlight what makes all of them special in their own way. I think all the games have something that's like, kind of worth experiencing. I really liked playing through 4 Ultimate recently. Um, the one that probably has had the most effect on me still is maybe Free Unite. Um, so that might be the closest thing to something I would call a favorite, like the one that I have the most memories with and kind of has shaped me the most. It's kind of a silly answer, I guess, but... Freebie Night's really tough, but I don't know. I feel like it teaches really cool things about the series. The 4 Ultimate is so much fun. The weapon designs, not just visually, but like the way the weapons control and fight are all really, really good in that game. And the variety as you play through the story and hub is awesome. Even the original, even the original has something to offer, yeah. It's not always like, I mean, like when you go back to the original, obviously you're not like, oh man, this game is so smooth to play. And like, I, I sure do love the experience of a day in Monster Hunter 1. Cause like your box is too small and the controls are kind of odd to get used to. You can't get used to them, people do. But, um, I don't know, it's like, when you're back in Monster Hunter 1, you're enjoying the experience of, man, this is really grueling, and the vibe is so, like, simple. Um, really, there's really basic, simple feeling to Monster Hunter 1 that's kind of cool. We'll talk more about that sometime when I've played it more recently. I've played Monster Hunter 1 um, a bit, but not recently. Yeah, I don't know, I think every game in the series has some special things to offer, and I think that's part of I think it's a good way to view the series, just in general. Like, there's some things that World provides that no other game in the series does, and there's some stuff that World doesn't have that other games in the series do. So, everything's worth playing and checking out. They'll all teach you different things. Alright, Pekko is going to be out this way. Yeah, we'll probably play through Monster Hunter 1 on stream someday. I don't know when. And, like, to someone who's not, like, super deep into the series, maybe I wouldn't recommend, like, oh, yeah, play all the games. Because, like, 
on a basic level, you are going out to hunt monsters with some controls that can feel a little bit stiff sometimes. And like, that's the goal of the game. But when you're really into the series, there are lots of differences that make each game individually very different to play. Whether it's like tweaks to the controls from the weapons, tweaks to how they design the fights with the monsters, tweaks to how you progress through the game, like features that you really like in one game or another, like, I don't know. To people who've played a lot of Monster Hunter, the games do feel pretty different. In subtle ways, but ways that make a difference. Aw, oh, I forgot he has, a, he has a roar that I need to block. I don't think that was a Devil Joe he called. Let's hope he doesn't call a Devil Joe this time. Okay, there's a Narga on the map. I'll take a Narga over Devil Joe any day. And here he comes. Wow, that was fast. <sighs> I can't believe that missed. I can't believe that missed. I'm so bad. Here. Jeez. Narga didn't even see us. Some people really like those two arm man. Legitimately. Some people really like that control style. No joke. Aw, oh, bummer. I screwed that up. You can evade through that really, really easily. But not if you screwed up. No! Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I screwed that up. Can you outrange that flash? Maybe? But maybe only far away. shell out fast enough. My goal is to try and hit his beak as much as I can right now. Slow down his songs. Luckily, charged shells with wide are super nice. Mm. I 
you remember that about him is that he's got that loud roar. Oh, and here comes the Narga again. There just goes the beak, though. We got him. Ooh, he's mad. He's going fast. Oof. Take that. Take what? The beak? Me too. lucky with positioning there. Holy crap. Seem to be having luck with making Peko fly away from the other monster. Oh, you made it to a checkpoint. Nice. Good. Why, why made in the quotes? I forgot about the wind from the tail. We seem to get hit by the tail itself. Took a dive into a buzzsaw to do it. Well, at least you got to the checkpoint. <sighs> it's like he knew there was another monster underneath him, so he flew up higher. Buddy. I like when Kurpako goes up to this area 9 because he doesn't seem to call other monsters with him when he goes there. It's a good thing for us. off of there. I have blue sharpness on right now. Hmm. I guess his wings are hard enough to make us bounce even with blue sharpness? I thought that was not the case. Alright, Pekka. So I break that arm. Did not? Wow, it didn't break his arm. And now we have green. Okay, okay. I like his honks. His honks are great. Gecko was talking about making his bowgun yesterday because his bowgun makes honks, and I think we probably have to do that. We probably have to make the Kurapeko bowgun. I don't care if we get stunned. That kind of cancels our sharpening animation. There we go. Make the hunting horn to me if you have time. We got time. We got nothing but time. Ferret knows about the hunt the, the bow gun honking. <laughs> yep, I'm in no rush to get through this game. 
I'm enjoying myself. Even though, like, I'm having a harder, a much, much harder time than I thought I would have this with this game. This game really does not play around in terms of once it gets to high rank hub, they throw some harder patterns at you, and the monsters just have lots of HP. Oh, they're both here already. And Kurpeko hides in the loading entry, of course, as per the huge. for always making him leave when they're both together, but it just seems like a pretty rough fight trying to fight Narukuga and him at the same time. Cheers, Crystal. Have a good dinner. I'll probably be leaving to get some dinner myself soon. Ouch. You're welcome. I hope it was a good spirit. We fought some Crimson Kurpeko today. We fought some Baryoth today with Longsword. Baryoth with Longsword was quite difficult. Wow. Wow. Okay. Like, once you break his... Or, not even once you break his arms, but once you break the, the Flintstones, you can hit the Flintstones a little easier with Blue Sharpness. I guess that was a poor sentence. In general, when you have blue sharpness, you may attack his flintstones, but his wings, the outer wings, are very rigid. Wasn't ready for it. Pekka should come back. Many of us think that. I think he's a cool monster. Oh, there's that green sharpness again. This seems real good. Oh, they can go to the same area. I didn't. He doesn't call other monsters to him here, but I didn't realize that Nargakuga could come here. It's like maybe Nargakuga just went overhead. I think there's a shadow here. Never mind. I'm tripping. Don't worry about it. Narga must have gone overhead. I thought that Narga was coming here. He's passed by, that's what it was. I thought that this right here, this patch of grass was a shadow because it looks somewhat shadowed. I was freaking out. I was like, oh no, they're both gonna be here in this tiny area. They're probably both going to the central area right now, if I had to guess. Love the little Kurapeko skip. My heal, not yours. <laughs> it's gonna make the Narga mad and that's gonna stun the Peko. Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked! I've seen that interaction happen before.
That's a really neat interaction. I really like that. The Kuropeko doing something akin to a Sonic Bomb, and it makes the Nargahuga mad. He does that effect before the before he tries to heal, so often the heal will get interrupted by the Nargahuga enraging. I really like that. Best of luck, Derp. Calling the Ludra, that's fine. Memory services is another area where he won't call Narga. So he didn't call the Devil Joe here either. It's weird, sometimes you cancel his songs and you get the effect, sometimes you cancel his songs and you don't. I don't really know why. like a lance and a longsword user? How so? I like that unlike um, Gypsaros, you can't ever really cancel his flashes. You have to actually be prepared to deal with them even once you've broken his, his flashers. Have any plans to play 3 Ultimate? Down the line, yeah. This is going to be our, our third gen entry for a while. Like the third gen entry that we'll, we'll play for a while and then after this we'll go to some other gens. But the next time after this that we play um, third gen Monster Hunter, it will be 3 Ultimate. It'll just be a while from now, I think. Oops. Got knocked back so far from that. We can't take advantage of that dunk, but that was a sick dunk. We actually want to capture him for a better chance at the, the stones we need from his arms. So we'll wait. We'll let him get away. Ludroth, you suck. <laughs> Poor derp. gave up after the dunk. I mean, it got freaking dunked by a wyvern fire. I might give up too if I was flying through the air and then someone blew me up so hard that I fell on my face. I should have killed the Bulfongo. God darn it, no! Alright, we gotta, we gotta get him to another area. Alright, this is our last dunk bomb. Let's hope this works. I'm not going to try and cap him with another monster in the area. I guess I'm glad the trap didn't work. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to kill him either. But I don't want him to heal. Shoot. I could have capped him by now. I don't care. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? I dunged him already. <laughs> that was so dumb. That was so dumb. Maybe we can get it to call the Narga over here and then go back to that area with the trap. Oh, that was so un that was so unintelligent. I don't know how much Kurpeko heals if it gets its heal off now. That could be another way we could screw up this quest. Because if he's healed enough by now, we wouldn't even get captured in the trap. Uh-oh. 
Oh, my, my weapon is still out somehow. What the heck, dude? We're dead. We're so dead. We're not dead! He's limping away. No, he's limping towards us. He has that classic wyvern thing in these games of limp towards you and throw out a predictable attack that he only does when he's weak. With the wrath, it's the bite. They'll limp up and they'll try and bite you. With him, it's the tail whip. Did <laughs> I really just get hit by that? I did. He's gonna get mad and he's gonna make it mad. No, I didn't. He was far enough away from it. Didn't synergize. Darn, I really needed to capture it. This is not going well. Okay. <gasps> Actually, wait, 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 wait. The dream. The dream. The dream! this trap doesn't res despawn right now. It worked out! We did it! That's amazing. <laughs> oh, there's a cool shimmery effect on these thunderstones. I never noticed that. Look at that. That's cool. That's crazy. Hello, Roku. Yeah, that was my plan all along, you guys, was just to make sure that the Kurapeko had enough health to limp away in another area. That was really what it was. After you got that heal off, I had to make sure he was, he was weak again. That's not how it went down. Hi, Annie. I see your text message. We were just about to wrap up here. <laughs> I can barely think right now, Mark. It's much less five steps ahead. Well, hopefully we get the Thunderstones that we needed. We fought them three times and I haven't gotten any of them, even though I've broken them every time. Oh my goodness. Man, the game hurt us. <laughs> my word. This guy had four of them. Dude, this game... This game's good sometimes. Alright, let's see if we can make that gun lance. The Peko TP. What a hoarder. Yeah, right? That guy had all the other guys. <laughs> Stones. <laughs> He stole him. Hey, Namenonai. Hello, everybody. Is Pog a Frank, Frank, finger face TV thing? Um, I don't know. Why do I play this and not Monster Hunter World? Um, we try and play all the games. I've talked about this a couple times today. In that I think all the games in the series have a lot of things that make them unique. Even though you're just fighting monsters in most of the games. Um... There's a lot of details about each game, whether it's what monsters are in the game, or how the weapons work in each game, or what maps you go to that make each game in the series worth experiencing. So, Edwin Ray, sometimes I play World. I played a lot of World last year. We're going to be playing more of it in the future. I think I like playing games more kind of all at once, focusing in on them, rather than going and doing different variety ones. So, I'll go back to World, I think, later on this year. I'm going to start a fresh character and play through the whole game again and try and do all the quests in that game and get a little more used to the weapons than I did last time. 
yeah, that's probably my like deepest held belief for the stream is that the whole Monster Hunter series is worth experiencing. They all have things that make them very unique. This game, for instance, has a very cozy farm that we're gonna check out before we uh before we end the stream today. I also want to sell some stuff so I can make that gun lance. I really want that Peko TP. Never seen play stories. That's true. What will I do when I finish all the Monster Hunter games? I haven't figured that out yet. I don't know. Play Dauntless? Probably not. We're, we are going to run out of honey. We got to do some, some honey runs later on today. Will there be a night stream? I don't think so tonight. Maybe? It depends on what Annie and I end up doing. Right, I wanted to sell some stuff. But first, let's go by the farm. Yeah, this test stream today might be the only stream for today. I've had kind of an odd day, but... Eh. Good stream. We got some materials we needed from uh, Berioth and from Crimson Kurapeko. I'm having fun crafting a bunch of miscellaneous weapons right now. This Legambi gun lance, super good. Not a super long stream today. But we did test out streaming from the Vita. It works pretty well. Um, I need a longer cable for it, and I need some... I guess I need some uh, longer... You, Yeah, I need a longer cable. Oof. And I need a uh, device that's coming in the mail that t gets rid of the audio buzz on the cable. Did we get the Barrier Sword and Shield? I think we're one claw away. You got bullied by Nargas. I got bullied by Berioths. So I feel your pain, because they're kind of related. modded in the one deco you needed in the world. Yeah. I don't really have any problems with people who do that. I'll probably always do things pretty straight, like legit, but I get it. Those decos take a long time to grind up. <laughs> oh, you tried the three consecutive low rank Nargas? And Z Longsword? Those three consecutive Nargas are rough. I tried them recently with Switch Axe and it was a tough time. No, Zin Longsword. Okay, gotcha. Right, he's weakest to Thunder in this game. Yeah, exactly. After like if you've gotten one if you've been playing one character for multiple years now and you haven't gotten the deco that you need, I don't think there's any shame in that. Um, depends, Marths. If it's something that nobody, like, that's physically impossible to get normally, I think it's kind of lame. If it's something that's possible to get normally, but it's kind of rare, then I don't know. I don't feel as bad about it. The only thing, I don't care if people normally do that sort of thing. When you're speedrunning, if it's something that nobody else can obtain, that feels kind of lame to me because it means that you're just, you're, you're using something that people normally can't obtain to make your run a little bit faster. But if it's something that you can normally obtain just through grinding and you just want to get to the end of the game faster, I understand that. I don't mind that. Makes you want to play 4U. We played some 4U for the past couple months, Edwin Ray. I, it was my first time playing through 4 Ultimate, and I really, really enjoyed it. We, we got to the end of high rank, soloed Dalamadur, and then I'm going to go back to that game and do its G rank sometime later this year. Okay. 
Let's see, do we have enough mite seeds and stuff to sell? I think we do. We do! Perfect. That's gonna let us go get that gun lance. Attack up 14, 10d6, 3 slot charm. Sounds nice. Thunder feather. Fire 24 and some normal or long. Thunder feather. Heck yeah. Crimson Peko Wing, Thunder Sack, Zen Electro Fur. Okay, so we need some more upgrades to it. It looks so cool! Wow! I'm happy we ground that up. What a cool gun lance. Well, this was a fun test stream off the Vita. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I need to order some stuff in or I need to tweak some things about how my setup's laid out in order to make this thing like really comfy to play off of. But I'm happy with the visuals. I'm happy with the controls. We'll be streaming, uh, we'll be streaming some more off it soon. So for now, let's go ahead and see who else is on today streaming Monster Hunter. We'll give somebody else a raid. I guess here, if it's anyone's first time here, thank you for being here. If it's your first time by the stream and you enjoyed it, think about leave a, leaving a follow. We're always playing Monster Hunter, and it's always have it's always fun to have more people around to talk to about it. If you've been here for a while and you enjoyed the stream, think about subscribing. It is appreciated, but not really obligatory in any way. Let's see who's on here. We'll be back today or tomorrow with some more portable third. We're going to be grinding, or we're going to be getting, getting into some more of the subspecies. Oh, dude, Shadow Ryo's got affiliate. We're definitely gonna give them a raid. They're they're doing a 12-hour free me night stream because they just not, they just got their affiliate. Let's give them a raid. Shadow Rios. So we were just watching some third gen gameplay here. Let's go ahead, let's go back and let's watch some second gen gameplay. It looks like he's fighting Silver Rathalos right now with hammer. So this should be hype. Alright. I will see you guys all soon <laughs> for some more monster Hunter portable third everyone have a great day happy hunting and cheers <laughs>